Hi there, signs of Libra. This is Kim with your 2023 reading. Hope you're doing good. As always, I ask that your spirit guides and your angels join us so that we can get these messages for your highest good. And also, I have attached a fundraiser just to join with them because I think what they do is amazing. It's called Invisible People. Their uh, YouTube channel is, and they help their mission statement says they try to help um, battle the root causes of homelessness in America, and that is important. So, that is why it's there. I support them. So, let's get going with um, your reading. How I'm going to do it is I'm going to break it, break the year up into quarters, um, and we'll pull one card for each quarter, and then we'll pull um, from that point, and we'll get a card for each month after that. And, um, yep, I'll try not to go too long on this. Um, I do read them however the card comes out, but I'm going to put it upright for the sake of um, the reading. For, the, for you to look at the artwork, it's the journey of the sacred bee. Nice. So, yeah, if it comes out like this, like I, I look at it a certain, a certain way in my readings. So, um. So alchemy or temperance is your um, issue for the first quarter, January, um, February, March. So let's do uh, April, May, June. That's a good card to get. Uh, that's something big. Okay, April, May, June. April, May, June. The moon. And the way it's coming out, it's like something really revealing about the moon energy, which we will talk about with you. Look at all that in two major arcanas, big stuff. July, August, September. Whoa, the world. Focusing on the journey. I'm just amazed you've got all major arcanas so far. Um, okay, and... October, November, December. Queen of Disc. Making a point to say, hey, no, make sure you read it upright. I will. I will. Because, oh, that's really good, too. A good sign, um, I think a good sign for year readings is the Hermit. Because, uh, just because of being able to um, really get good reflection on your own um thoughts of how you're feeling and your own research just in life on your journey in general so i'm gonna leave that there to kind of inspire the reading too um let's go ahead and get your cards for the months and we'll do it month we'll do it quarter by quarter so let's do uh alchemy or the temperance card which this card is representing january february march and that means that things that were previously maybe impossible maybe maybe it's even a, a group of people that are trying to get them to get along and oh my goodness or we're just finding um you know that place of perfect chemistry where everything just matches and starts fitting well, those are your angels helping you behind the scenes. That's that serendipitous events occurring, and that is the alchemy here. So tell me about January in specifics. This is about people getting along, and nice. Ace of Cups. Libra, you already have a really excellent... <clears throat> this is an excellent reading. Whatever it is, I feel like the message is that whatever this that comes in this ace of cups whatever it represents it can even represent a relationship to you the purest form of the cups here it's the start it's the beginning it's the opportunity it feels like it's going to be a person or situation that completes you i know how cheesy that sounds but this is um july august september and it i feel like it's a message for that too so starting the year off really really good this is good February, nice, and then you'll be investing, investing in uh, putting your time and your efforts um, into cultivating what you've got. Um, it's it's not so much patience as it is um, maybe patience with yourself and your own work and putting in your efforts, um, you know, watching things grow. 
these are good. This is good in a, you know, in a frame of investment and what you're investing in. And it shows that you are invested heavily in something here by February. March, what's March about? The Nine of Cups and the Reverse. Careful what you wish for. So some things that we wish for can um, be like, you know, getting all that we want could involve the not so great things for ourselves. You know, like, um, I don't know, drinking too much, but still that was what you wanted. And so be careful around March. I would even say with temptation, um, if that's going to be in the reverse like that. So, all right. So, um, I kind of rearranged those a little bit. I, I do think you just have to be careful about the things that you wish for. And we'll get some clarification. Um, at the end, we'll see what really needs clarifying because this can be a really long reading if not. So... The moon here, energy, I like I said, think something's going to be revealed with this because of how it came out. Um, deeper feelings being made known um, usually is, you know, if it's if something's being... Now, it can, like I can see it as like sharing your secrets with somebody else. I could see that too. Sharing your secrets. That's a specific message that's really just for Libras here. Um, April, May, June. So April, tell me about April energy first. Ooh, oh goodness. This is like feeling kind of vulnerable. I don't know why. Careful with the choices from March. Budgeting or something like that. Also, like if I, like I said, if you do drink and it could cause some like health issue or something like that, then, then just be aware of that. This is going to be a, a worry or a concern of some sort. Of course, we'll clarify it. I'm not just going to leave it at that. But, um, so, I don't know, maybe you get a cold that month. <laughs> maybe it's something like that. Tell me about May. The world. Hmm. A completion wanting to come in. A completion wanting to come in and like close out as or no complete something. A completion, maybe even talking about travel at this time. Uh so May. So tell me about June. This could be a financial concern or worry too. It's just some some kind of worry usually. Um, it's a five. It's associated with temporary uh, things and change. The page of wands in the reverse is kind of waiting on some good news. That would be June. Okay, so how can I arrange these so that we know that the months... Let's go to the world. Let's just keep going. July, August. So July. Okay. Four of Pentacles. August. So you have two world cards there. Um, the Five of Swords in the reverse. Not fighting about something. Tell me about September. Two come out. Two came out for September. I would say they came out like this. So you have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Capricorn and Scorpio energy for September. Um, leading with love and really focusing on the home and finances. Um, the patriarch, the matriarch, I mean, of the family. And this is a different court card. It's a person who like leads uh, their heart with love. This person is very generally very committed to family. Um, so might have home business. You may get, I guess, like a mentor or someone coming in with that. King of Cups. Um, the Queen of Pentacles could represent you. Which is good for September. Let's, let's see. More 
let's get some more um queen of disc for november october november december so for october tell me about that so there's the queen of pentacles twice and that's representing the last quarter wow ace of pentacles queen of wands if you put yourself out there uh share your gifts sharing gifts with others i don't know there's something about that that's going to really help um your pentacles and what you do professionally maybe for work or something like that what's november about the star in reverse goodness okay december the two of swords a huge big decision but a peaceful resolution too so we can't forget that part all right, so let's clarify and see what else going on here. January, February, March. I mean, you're really investing. Things look really good here, February. And then March comes in, and I think the months to take a look at would be March and April. Tell us more about March. Tell us more about March with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Tell us more about March. Mm, has to do with an influence or friends i would just be careful I, i'm thinking like their choices influence choices could drag you into something if you do or you could or this could be gossip or something you just got to watch out for whatever group you're hanging around with at that time so that somebody doesn't um you know influence you to like overdo it because that could cause some real problems in march or issue with friends tell us more about this um issue this could be the tendency to overdo it you know over party and and so could the nine of cups so that's just there's your warning for march don't over party for march it could lead to something not so good so let me get another card march yeah yeah look <laughs> This is my card for um, the not so great consequence of things just not moving forward in life in general. Um, when when there's an event or something that gets you stuck, either these friends or these choices uh, could get you possibly stuck somewhere or stuck not moving forward when you're wanting to. That's how you know you know you've got these energies to deal with and now you know. So now you don't have now you can change them up. <laughs> Change out those energies so that that's different. So that something's different. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles because this is April. We really want to know why. Either feel left out or um, going through a worrisome event. Time for a fresh new start. I think it's in regards to love or your friends your circle of your environment in your environment this could be so, kind of feeling a little lonely and putting yourself out there um for what you want like going after what you were wanting a fresh start tell me more about april devil energy that's that Addictions, vices, and um, things like that. It could be some kind of judgment coming in or announcement due to something that happens in March. Uh, so be careful with that and just um, be aware of it. Just be aware because, I mean, that's what I said. This temptation could be, and this devil energy could be what's pulling in those energies for you, you know, to even be around whatever this is. All right, well, we're going to move on. So, <clears throat> the world card, the May for May, the world card for May. Maybe travel, like I said, um, maybe some type of completion. 
it's a new chapter that's going to be turning for you. It's unavoid. It will be unavoidable, meaning this is actually something good. So this world energy here, it's a chapter that's faded for you. So I feel like it leads you to something that is like a, an unavoidable um, decision. You don't have to make a decision, but I think it's faded that it's going to lead to something bigger and better. New chapters, the world. Trying to decide could be a difficult issue. Tell me more about on this decision or what this even is about this decision. It could be like the decision that's not necessarily yours to make. Oh, it's about whether you want to go after maybe your ace of cups, maybe a new love interest or your, what you consider twin flame energy with the knight of wands. Because that's May, and then in June, you're going to be waiting on some good news. It might be the news from this person that represents the Knight of Wands. So Sagittarius. It almost feels like maybe this... Yeah, I don't want to... Don't wanna, um... You don't want to lose what you've invested, all you've invested due to some kind of temptation here in March. All right, all right, so page of wands, page of wands. Temperance, waiting on news. Very well could be between. A Capricorn, a Scorpio. Sagittarius connecting the two somehow. I don't know how, but um, waiting on some news. Your angels get involved. The temperance is here trying to help um, bring back, I feel like, that energy from January. And maybe that's when some feelings get revealed over those months of maybe to yourself and maybe to somebody who you want to who you feel like you have good good chemistry with so that would be april may and june and i i do feel like it has a connection a balance between moving forward make your choices from love and it's like what's best for the home life um and business That's interesting. Okay, so um, then we move on and we have um, the world card as being July, uh, August, September. So that is like that coming to a completion. With the four of pentacles, you're kind of holding tight to how I almost feel like that, like tightening, holding on tight to what you have kind of, there could be like a fear of losing something and therefore you're holding on really tight, not running, wanting to listen to what others have to say. So but it might be a time to have a completion where, um, I don't know, let, you, you let go of some kind of, um, need to have to have this attachment or whatever this is representing or saving, saving, holding on to what you have. Or it, it, it feels like personal growth and development where you move on to another chapter in your life where you could take it or leave it. Like it's good that you have it and it's great, but you're not really emotionally like attached to those things that when you don't have them, if you are attached, you get sad. I hope that makes sense. So losing your attachment to things like that, it brings about new energy with the world. The five of the five of swords in the reverse could really be um, just about the mood of that time. Um, so this is going to be August. It's, it could be that feeling of like I just really don't I don't want to argue or don't want to fight. Um, avoiding conflict, maybe at the same time, avoiding confrontation. This could be with somebody with a mother figure because Queen of Pentacles showing up again, not wanting to fight. Uh, 
Okay, tell me more about the Five of Swords in the reverse. Not wanting to fight with them. Ooh, wow, wanting to solve things by meeting your milestones and goals for not just yourself, but for the whole family. So what the deal with March and April? I don't know, but I do know that this is, oh, well, there's the King of Swords in the reverse. This is almost like you're not conflicted anymore. It feels like if there's a person or situation that the others didn't want to see happen or didn't want to see like in the face of adversity still meeting your milestones even even to like romeo juliet thing where this might be you with a person that others didn't want you with but you're not conflicted over it or don't mind or don't care uh, how other people feel here So, Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups for September. Tell me about that. A lot of self-sacrifice and a lot of waiting. You, It feels like you're not attached to an outcome of a success, but I feel like it's going to happen anyway. Possibly these people are seeing things from a different perspective as the months go on from whatever celebration this is for here or milestone met that, like I said, not everybody looks too thrilled about, but Virgo energy. Tell me about, um, tell me about the queen of wands. So you have... You got a lot of queens. You got a lot of emphasis on, uh, you got one king and lots of queens. Somebody from, it feels like the past with the Knight of Wands. You have the Queen of Discs, Queen of Wands, October, November, December. So that's October. If it's dating, which I know that this reading is going to mean different things for different people, but if you're looking at it as dating or love, then this is um, being very attractive, kind of standing out. Um, good at what you do or good at um, the impression that you're making, that you make or made. So tell me about the star in reverse. That's what I would really want to clarify. Um, November, star in reverse. What does this have to do with? surprise it's it's some t I hate to even say it like that it's some sort of like where we surprise the way that we used to feel about something or the way that the things that we used to wish for or hope for that may have changed or we could have been waiting for this person a whole long time and now it's like um I don't know, some kind of sadness uh, or disappointment with it. But sharing your experience will help. Seven of Swords, the Page of Wands. Give me more. The Ten of Pentacles. Oh, no matter what disappointment, this is a, again, this is a, that disappointment from March. But it's saying that, um, your ability here to acquire not only like personal wealth and growth, but for the family connections, prosperity and wealth looks really, really good. Sometimes your dreams change uh, for the sake of everybody's highest good. And I think that's what it's saying. And that you'll achieve it, though. You achieve it. And that's wealth. That's a lot of wealth. All right. 19 minutes. Goodness. Okay, let me wrap this up. December. Then you're left with a decision. Then you're left with a decision. 
I feel like it has to do with helping somebody in family connection. There's something missing. This is what's sad. So you can have everything in the material realm, taking care of everybody, um, okay, food, shelter, but you could have an emotional aspect or one person perhaps that's missing and that's a something's missing from the whole um making everybody happy at the same time but that's things that we're always working on so with 1010 being here too i'd say that that is definitely believe in the impossible you have your angels here guiding your readings so especially this one with temperance so a peaceful resolution not everybody's gonna be really happy with it necessarily but i feel like you are i feel like you are so i feel like this because this is your reading and the ten of pentacles now it's come out twice right that's really good yeah you'll come out with a peaceful resolution in the end there might just be some people within the friends or family that you end up just kind of like not trusting. I can't, I can't believe I'm leaving on that note. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. This is braving the unknown here. I'm going to pull a few from the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle too. I can't leave it on, on that. But I can't not read it how I'm seeing it too. So 41, a power struggle. You may be involved in a power struggle between two or more people. But hey, look, see what I tell you. Celebration, 27, take time out to celebrate. 66, hibernation, your soul needs time alone for meditation and rest. That's a big message for you in this reading too. And there you go, 74, increase. You have successfully manifested something near and dear to your heart. Yep, that's what I got. Sending you light and love. Bye there, Libras.